Presenting today a video with Flower. Hi. Dragged Harry Flower at retirement out of his uh, bed. Out of his bed today at 1 p.m. to bring him to Pembroke Recycling Centre, one of the seven wonders of the world. When you said we're going to one of the seven wonders of the world, I didn't really have in mind that we we're going to a f dump. Well, you wait till you see what lies beneath. So I'm gonna give. I've got a tenner. I'm gonna share it and together we're gonna both buy a set of golf clubs to play with. I know this video has been done before, but I know there's other other channels that have started this and I'm not gonna give them credit because I don't really care, all right? Well, and the people that did it are a couple of boring... Um... Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't care. Like, there's other people that's, you know, like, when are you ever really gonna have an original idea? Like, when is that gonna happen? It is very, very, very rare. No, you never come up with an original idea. You do copy everyone else, but you put your own kind of spin on I it, do. don't you? That's what you've got to do in it on YouTube. No. So I want to see any comments saying this has been done before. It's not been done with me and Flower um, at the Exeter Pembroke Recycling Centre. So let's get started. I think there's very many now. Might want to talk up a bit, James. Thought we'd have a bigger selection here. I love the names of them. Can I pick my set then? Yeah, do you want to go first? Yeah. Right, Harry Flower on the channel. Hi guys, it's good Hi to be you. back, you know. Um, it's been a while. Just looking for some new clubs. I'm going to chuck mine because they weren't, they weren't really working, James. That was the problem, wasn't it? It was the clubs. Yeah. I would say it wasn't you. And you know I'm not one for making excuses. I wouldn't say it's the clubs unless it really was. I'm going to try and get something which is going to give me maximum distance. Yeah? Yeah. And what I'm thinking is maybe a driver, but... We're not exactly blessed with choice here, James. The first thing I'm looking for is, you know, maybe a little bit of rusting around the hosel. But this looks good. So is that what you look for as an antiques club dealer? Because you've got about a thousand clubs at home, haven't you? I was, I was tempted to bring the Hogan's out, James. I really was. Did we put them in the car? Yeah, but they're in the car. In the like, car. We've, we've got. Just seen a one wood. I see that to me. Maybe a little bit upright, a little bit offset, but that should help the slice. Or do I go for the Wilson? No matter what I go for, they're going to be better than the ones I've been using in recent years. I would buy this, but I don't want to be dealt a bad hand. <laughs> Do they make cars like the Evo? Mitsubishi. Yes. Mits Mitsushiba. Mits Mits Mitsushiba Junior Tour Evo 3. Mitsushiba. Amazing. That's, um... How much I can the... charge you more if you want me to. No, please, please don't. How much <laughs> are the golf bags? I go for my break now. Okie doke. How much are the golf bags? They're five. They're five. All right, we've only got enough for clubs. James, I'm looking for a gap wedge, mate. I'm I looking hope for you're going to find a gap wedge in here, mate. I'm, I don't think gap wedges were invented. Well, since I found any. Are you gap? actually looking for a gap wedge? You know, you're aware these are like '80s clubs. They had like a sand wedge as the max wedge, pitching wedge, sand wedge. Lob wedge. It, it all went the other side. It was like one iron, two iron, three iron. Advantage has got to be good, mate. But at the moment, I've got a full set of tightless clubs. I don't know what happens to that grip. It's like a junior grip. We just get some, you know, the B roll that we do. Can you get you some know? B roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two okay. sacks. Are you actually using that putter? No, you're doing a B roll. Okay, go on. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama. That's lefty. But I need, I need to actually find something. Right, what are these? These juniors, yeah? I've got the Wilson. Will's son. I've got the will to put it off, son. I mean, what do you think? Should, get, should, I, should I ask for a fitting session? My hand might be a bit big for this one. Um, my thumb's on the shaft. Right, so at the moment, I've got the Yasuda Dominator. The Titleist B33, which sounds more like a fighter jet. The Tiger Shark, one metal. Just need a putter. It's in the bag, it's in the bag. Where? Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh my <laughs> Get it, look. I'll put it down on the ground. Let's 
going in the back. 60 degree. God, any closer. Vantage to the... tune. Oh, go on then. Just in case it's not fit for the coffee. Okay. What part are you using then? I'll have a look when we get down there. We'll do a full wash in the back. Yeah. When we get there. Where are we going? Um, going to Dings. Ooh, haven't seen Rich for a while. We're on our way to Dayton. One of the. I uh, I uh, yeah, I booked a uh, a dentist call out today. Um, but I actually missed the call. I've got the camera out to film some B roll, which is what goes over the A roll. That is um, my ex. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene Like a cool water stream That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road Tank. No, it's more Henry, isn't he? Henry the steamroller. Harry the dank engine. I'm not going to give you any shots. These are the shots. In fact, this is the handicap today. This. Look how far forward you've literally got to have this here to hit a straight pop. I never watched Happy Gilmore. You doing those club punk? Mr. Gilmore, I'm your caddy. I just never watched it. And maybe maybe I watched it once when I was so younger. Weird, aren't you? Why is that weird? I guarantee if you ask the majority of people. Ask the majority of people in the world if they've seen Happy Gilmore, whether they're golfers or not, they've seen it. You're a golfer that hasn't seen Happy Gilmore. It golfer. just doesn't I don't like watching stuff like that about golf. I don't like Adam Sandler either. Just don't like much. James. Walks off with his Ben Hogan bag in pure rage. So first hole at Dainton Park, we have a 357 yard par four. Long, long, long. You know when you, you get it's so, not as a short hole. So big, and you struggle to take a posture. Just it's like that at the moment. Take a posture. Because my chest. I've done a lot of chest work. You know, Arnie said, you know, my chest didn't grow, so I drained 20 hours a day doing chest. Did you read Arnold's bodybuilding encyclopedia? Yeah. I, I through lockdown, I just trained loads of chests. I got to train twice a day for three hours and uh, I struggle to. You know, but it'll be alright. Alright, I'm. Guys at home are wondering whether you're, you're, you've been taking something during lockdown. Well, James, I can, I can confirm that I have. What have you been taking? I've been taking copious amounts of s. So, yeah. Is it true that you're wearing shorts under your trousers? To make my legs look bigger, yeah. So you haven't got body image issues then? It's like the Galvin, it's like the ethos with the Galvins because the Galvins are over the top but these are like internal Galvins. So you're describing it as an ethos now? It's an ethos, it's a way of life. It's not just, it's not just you put the shorts on and your legs are bigger, it's a uh, religion. Not just Galvins, it's a way of life. Like, yeah. no, everything's a religion. You should be the ambassador for Galvin. Like you're a lifelong ambassador but without any, without any benefit at all. What do you mean? Like, well, they've never paid you anything, have they? I mean, you've been wearing the same pair of Galvins for the last 15 years, years. and they've never paid you a cent, and you've still got the same, the same exact pair that you wear that hang around your ankles, you know, loose. Very loose. Make your legs look slightly bigger because they're, like, padded. Yeah. But I don't know what you're getting at, though. I'm just saying that you should be getting some royalties from Galvin as a company. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you should reach out to their marketing team. I don't think I do their business any good though. I don't look good. And you could be the model. Um, for like the extra long, like the 35 inch ones. Because they, it's a Scandinavian company, isn't it? So they're used to fitting like Vikings and stuff. How do you know they're a Scandinavian country? Oh, because they fit Vikings, and Vikings are six foot nine, and your legs, you know, are you're skinnier. You're saying I'm a Viking, basically. No, well, no, I'm just saying you've got really long legs, mate, and you look. No, like I don't a... even know what you're on about. On a key from Exeter, Harry Flower. Do you, do you want to hear the Tiger Woods one? 
on it from USA, Tiger Woods. Um, you're hitting the driver, eh? The yeah. one wood straight away. Is it three wood? Is it? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. And cannot. this, my friend, is just gonna go straight down the middle. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. <laughs> Did it come out? One, two, extra, Dominator. The Dominator. <laughs> Dominator. Can we just for today call it the Alpha? Do you reckon if you were played in the open, obviously it wouldn't happen, but like if if you did, do you reckon the guy with the squeaky voice would like turn alpha as he says your name? It's like, on the tee, from Devon, James f***ing Wiltshire. Yeah. Left. We're both in a bush. And I keep filming until he gets off and tells me to hurry up. Wait for it. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cruel. Wish I could eat my nuts. Right, so yours is obviously in, in here, in a hazard. So I'll give you, so we'll say it's in here. I'll give you two club lengths. You can drop it here. But I don't want you to lose this. Okay. Right, you to go. I would say... Yours you. is the picture wedge now, I don't have the picture wedge. Yeah, yours is the one it? with the weird putter in it. You laying up now? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to. So you're hitting your three wood off the tee when oh, it's yeah. not that. Well, we haven't found it yet, have we? Where's it gone? You laying up? How far is it? 120 yards, and the oh, Tor Pro's laying up. Open up on an eight. Harry won't understand that because he wouldn't have seen Tin Cup either. Tin Cup, Harry. Does that ring a bell? Is it the robot guy? Okay, don't worry about it. Honestly, don't know. You I know are. there's a guy with a robot who might be. What, Iron, Bi Iron Byron? That's the guy. Just like Tin Cup. What are you doing? Hitting an 8 iron. So eight you're nine. going for the green? Yeah, I'm actually. You got 120. Yeah, I'm just opening up my 8. Oh, mate. That's another ball in the water, isn't it, Harry? Oh, it's dry. Fine, it's well over. So we've got about 140. There's literally no grip on this club. Well, I've got the Titleist B33 pitching wedge. Every time I think of that, I think of the um, Stealth Bomber. That could be very good, actually. It's <laughs> Mate, that is over it. That is the other side of it. No, it's in the water. Did you not hear it splash? Does that make you angry or are you chilled about it? I know that you've been playing a lot of golf and you've got a lot, you know, you've got a good team around you now with everyone, all the people you're hanging around with. Has your temper, like, just simmered down a little bit or are you still getting pretty off? Quite calm. Yeah? Very unfortunate, but James, James's ball went straight into the reeds there. Is this the, uh, this the lob wedge? It is. Plenty of green to work with. Oh, so good, but long, it's long. You just explain what putter you're using first. Yeah, so it's probably time to own up a little bit. This putter I actually brought from home. It's one out of my collection, because I collect antique clubs. And this is the kind of thing they used to use when golf started first on the beaches of, of um, Normandy. And like, I don't know. Normandy, yeah. Scotland, mate, is where golf originated from. In Normandy in Scotland, I was at the war, wasn't it? It's a war. Normandy right. is not in Scotland. No. Just to make you aware. James, I'm just gonna trundle this one up. This isn't ideal when you got the yips because it's really toe weighted, so really it just could. How can go. you say you got the yips when you haven't played golf for four months? I don't know, James, but it really it could go anywhere to be honest with you. Let's have a look. It's not actually that bad. I'll take that, I'll finish him off as well. Yeah, good shot. So this is for one, two in the water, three drop out, four, this is for a five. I made one, two drop, three, four, five, six. Let's just get this into lead by one, guys. Remember you are oh, extraordinary. And that is a, an explosion. This is to say tied with Harry Flower Golf. Yeah, clutch. All right, second hour at Dainton. 
Okay. We're off the yellows now. Um, Harry didn't fancy seeing off the whites. We've got quite a long par four. Dog legs right to left. Why are you hitting free wood? Huh? Well, it's about 180 yards to carry the water on this side. You've literally got to take this towards the green. No, you haven't hit that far. Mate, you hit this on the green if you got it. Do you reckon? Yeah. I hope so. I, um, I hit it a long way. I'm pretty. Now, man, that's so bad, isn't it? I don't need the bridge thing. Is it going to fall? Swing felt good, just a little bit rusty. Right, first go with the trisole. The, with the, oh, the... Um, Sounds like a medication for flu. Tiger, tiger shot. So what line have you got to take with this then? Out the green, I mean. Oof, that's going to be fine. Carry it, carry it, go on. Carry it, go mean? on. What do you mean, that's going to be fine? That's on the green line. Well, we'll find that one. Need a little bit of practice, James. So that's a lost ball for Harry, off the tee. Provisional ball went all of 120 yards, which leaves him How far have I got? about 180, I'd say. Shit, really, is it that far? So I've got a pound and eight on it, really, or knocked down a five. Is it actually 180? I mean, I don't think you've got the control to do either of those, so. No, I haven't. I'll just pick a club, make a golf swing, and we'll move on. 50 yards, and we can do it again. You've got eight iron out, have you? Yeah. Well, if I hit it hard, it'll go, it'll get there, won't it? So. Famous oh, last oh. words. High draw is what they're about to see on the camera right now. Harry, what's 40 pounds? Just PGA. James's ball's done well. It's trundled its way through, just like oh, my life. You look angry already. Mate, mine's a 64 degree. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine's 60. This is literally a full swing. Do you think I can get it over that tree? Do you it's probably better. You can go at this as hard as you like. Yeah, over the tree, mate. It's at 70 yards of that. It's unlucky that. Rough killed it a bit, that would have been great otherwise. Would you put yourself in the same category as Ben Hogan? Like ball striking? Yeah, obviously, but maybe not short game. Ball striking, putting, you know. I mean that was the problem with your pro career, your ball striking was there, um, but you just didn't quite have it around the greens. I mean you could go and hit 16 greens in reg, and uh, you just take too many putts. Feel like the best of techniques to be honest. I looked a bit yippy, I'm not gonna lie. That was the yippiest thing I've ever felt, mate. That was just thing else, but this is just yeah, it's horrific. Like, you can't, and he's trying to bend it back, just trying to prove how alpha yes, and man. Has he actually done it? Has that worked? Nicely done, nicely done. One, two, three, four, five. This for a six then, yeah? It's yeah. It's not actually too bad. Hole three, par five. And this is your one wood. So what's the one wood called again? Just remind us, it's offset quite a bit. Tiger shot. They're actually, so people know, they were okay clubs back in the day, weren't they? Oh my god, that's f***ing nailed. That's, that's so good, mate. That's probably like one of the best flights I've ever seen. Right, just, Let's... mate, just chill out of it, please. Like, you're going way too hard at it. Just chill. No, if something doesn't work in general, my, again, it's an ethos, is just hit it harder, or like, yeah, hit it Alright, just don't listen to anything I say, just hit it harder. That's straight down the middle. Might go in the bunker, but it's repeatable. That's the main thing. Right, flower out the sand. What have you got then? Eight iron. Is that the oversized Titleist 8 iron? 
Yeah. Yeah, this reminds me of that shot Tiger played. You know when he wedges, wedges his feet up against the bunker on the PGA? Okay. He hits that ridiculous high hook with a three iron. It's sharp with a five iron, actually. It's sharp with replicating it. Yeah, that. you've got probably the number that he had. Yeah. I reckon you got about two, 200? Yeah, 210. So this is Tiger Woods in his heyday at maximum strength, maximum yeah, so control. Yeah, I'm probably the only person on YouTube who could, probably, who could replicate this. So I'm just going to do exactly what he did. Slay up, mate. It's laying up, is it? That's what he, what he did, wasn't it? So. Did Tiger lay up then, did he? Yeah, it's a different PGA. I wasn't on about the one you were thinking of. So. That's gone better than your current driver. Like, that's genuinely a great drive. It was alright, that. I'll pick that club up at the dump. Just prove a point. How far has it gone? 285. 141. Oh, just squeezing right. That, way, that was when it was actually a pitching wedge, not a, like a f seven on it. <laughs> so in a minute we're going out to film a full nine hole course vlog. Me, Harry and Rich Woods. And Harry's going to play with a full set of Apex Hogan's. To be honest, mate, I, I am quite enjoying using them. And I, I love the bag. I mean, you haven't used them yet, you've just used the bag. Huh? You haven't used the Apexes yet, you've just used the bag? No, it's, yeah, no. Have I not? No, I haven't. Um, like two. It's either an 8-iron or a 60, and we all know that it's better to hit it harder than to knock it down, so I'm going to hit a 60. With the famous closed stance, open shoulders. Oh my god, that is horrific. That'd be a lovely kick off the bank. Horrific. I mean, that's dirty wide from 86 yards. Yeah. Leave your comments down below. What planet is flower from? Imagine a planet. Imagine a planet full of flowers. That's a hell of a walk in it. Those legs. I'm right in line for a thin shank. Mystery man coming down here. It's for James's eagle. Go on. Oh. Mate, if the pin wasn't in, that was in. Nicely done. Went for the early walk and I made myself look like an absolute mug. I mean, you are doing an early walk from 12 foot with an antique putter. Oh dear. This could spell the end for a happy Gilmore. What club show In you? fact, no, I'll go. I'll I'm go. ready. You, you're, you've never been ready for anything in your life. Do you know what? I just get... All I do when I come back onto YouTube is get the f***ing taken out of me. We're off the whites. Of you. We're off the whites this year then, are we? I guess so. What's the number here, Rich, do you think? 133 yards. Can you just ring the greenkeepers and tell them in advance? I'm sorry. Have you organised a schedule for this shot? <laughs> you know, a little fade in here, James, you know? Is that intentional or...? Probably not, mate. I mean, you've got a 50-50 chance, I guess. Oh, my God. I don't know why that stayed there. Why are you trying to hit a little fade, anyway? Because I want to be open to it. I want to add loft. Because it's an 8-iron. Hey, you need to cheer up. Just a little bit. I've been with you for five hours. Ah, oh, that's lovely that, James. You've really pulled that one off, haven't you? Well. We have found his ball. I don't know what he's looking at. He's looking up. It's got, oh, I'm literally in danger. Where's that? Okay. 
So you've got this for a birdie. What's your score at the moment? Six over, I think I am. That to go. It's very good, that. Oh. I've given it to Ram there. I'll finish it, James. Finish it off, mate. Get it. Get rid of it, I would. It's been good, isn't it? I've enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed it? I've always enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah, I know. Did you see that? No, but can you finish it, please? Somebody slow that down on cam. That was a right-hand bomb. All right, we'll give you that one. James for a par to finish, I believe. One over. Still, two over, I think, is so good with those clubs. And they were battered. Let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the